Hello Newton Snook fans, it's Maria Russell here with you today and thank you for joining me. I am back today to share with you a process video of this cute Valentine's Day card showcasing a new stamp set recently released by Newton Snook called Love Always and it features four different images of cute owls and about five sentiments perfect for Valentine's Day card or for any occasion like anniversary or any love theme cards. I'm also gonna be using my favorite die set by Newton Snook called Pines and Holly and the other one is the Plumes and Arrows or something like that. I will definitely be linking all the supplies that I use in the description box below. So the first thing that I did here was to stamp the images on Nina Solar White cardstock and I used a Copic Friendly ink to stamp those images because I'm going to use my Copic markers to color them in. You will notice that I use my darkest Copic first and then the medium and then the light. I also left some deep shadows on the images because I wanted them to look like feathers. And if you look at an owl picture or if you've seen an owl in person, you will notice that the owl has different colors, variation of colors like deep and light and things like that. So that's what I did here. That's why there are deep shadows on the images. So I'm going to put some music on now for you while I'm coloring and I will be back after that. I have an A2 size cardstock here. This is a 110 pound cardstock and I'm going to dry emboss that using an embossing folder that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. This is from the Paper Studio and I really love how this one turned out. Those hearts are so cute. And then I am going to use a die from my stash. This time I'm going to use Nina Solar White cardstock. This is also 110 pound. I'm just going to cut a strip here with the scallop die and then 
because everything is super white I wanted to add a little bit of color behind those owls so I'm going to use my distress oxide ink this is spun sugar and I'm just going to use my mini ink blending tool and add some color behind those owls And just to add a little bit more color on my design, I decided to use my Age Mahogany Distress Oxide Ink. I just smushed that on my acrylic block and used my Distress Sprayer and Watercolor Brush so that I can add some color speckles on my cardstock. And this is a perfect combination like the white and the light pink with the H mahogany. I really love how this one turned out. So now that I have all of the stuff that I needed for the card, it's time to assemble the card. I've die cut the pine boughs with white cardstock using the pines and holly die set and then the arrow from the plumes and arrow die set. And I'm just going to assemble the card now. I'm going to adhere that strip first using my Siron tape runner and since I use the Siron here this is really good because you can still kind of lift it and I wanted to add those pine boughs on the side there and I use my Nuvo liquid adhesive to do so so you can see it's easy to lift it and add a couple more elements to the card and then I'm also going to use the same Siron tape runner to adhere my owls and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment using my stamping tool and VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm going to adhere this piece on an A2 size side fold card base using my Nuvo liquid adhesive since there's sort of like an embossing on the back here so it's better to use liquid adhesive. And I'm going to add a sentiment in the inside of the card with the Always and Forever using some red ink by Lawn Fawn. So that is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the newly released Stamps and Dies by Newton Snook. We have a really cute planner set as well that you are going to absolutely love. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you like it. Have an amazing day and happy crafting.